Yo, what's up everybody? It's Martin and today I'm going to give you some very quick advice on time stretching samples or any any audio file that you really want to be in time. You know, you hear those cool samples and you're like, damn, I want to sample that. But it's really hard for me because when I first started out, it would take me like days to get one sample in time. Um, so just, just a little knowledge on it helps spread. So let's go ahead and throw in this sample I found. Um, now the first important step is to find the downbeat, which is bar one, beat one, just the one, two, you know what I mean? Like right on the one. Um, let's just listen to the sample for now, see what we're working with. Okay, so pretty dope, right? I mean, there's definitely a lot of potential. You can go a lot of different ways with this sample. But first, we got to get in it, into time. So the first first things first, bar one, beat one. We want to, if you're using Ableton, hold command. And you just want to get right up on that, right up on that waveform. Oh, that's not even the one. The one is actually over here. There we go. There's a downbeat. So now the next step is to listen in our head and count with the beat. Ready? One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two. So I don't know if you noticed, but when I said three, two, three, that was this waveform. So basically, if we drag our tempo to where that waveform is sitting at bar three we should be in the ballpark of the right tempo all right so just matching up the waveform transient to bar three and now let's turn on the metronome and see if we're at least close I mean yeah we're, we're in the right ballpark and that's all we're looking for right now we're not trying to get perfect yet okay okay so then the tempo starts slowing down the beat does some weird stuff so but we're in the ballpark now we want to start working so basically we'll open up our audio file um, we'll turn on warp mode and we'll use Complex, Complex Pro, probably Pro, or actually Complex for this one. Okay, so now we're going to use our eyes and our ears to line up all the downbeats. Bar 1, bar 2, bar 3, bar 4. So if you don't know what that is, basically bar 1, 2, 3, 4, bar 2. And we're using our eyes to shape, to move the transients to those certain bars. So let's do it. So there's a two. One, two, three, four. See? And that waveform has to come back. You just have to lock in. I would do one every measure like that. I mean, if you want to get really crazy, you should probably should, and you can go in between like this. This needs me to move back. So because we got the ballpark right, it's making this part easy. So at this point, you're just using your eyes to move the waveform to where it's supposed to be, your eyes and your ears. It starts to become pretty obvious. You know, if, if you're new to it, you might be like, oh, what waveform are you grabbing? But again, it's all the bar ones, like all the downbeats. So let's hear it.
Okay, cool. So that was just a, a pretty general timing right there. So you, as you see, I've got a couple of wave uh, markers. So yeah, we're, we're in tempo now. So let's go ahead and start playing with it. You know, that's when you start getting creative, pitch it up, add some drums, change the tempo. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how you know when you're producing the hit and when you start singing and rapping and that shit. But like, low key, I want this beat for me. Uh, yeah. Hey, I try to tell a man, you know what I'm saying? It's 2020 in this bitch. We doing big things in this motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Start getting crazy and start doing drums. This shit starts coming together. You know, but yeah, your hi hat's way too loud, Martin. I know. Anyways, that was it. That's quick Ableton time stretching. If you do it like this, you will sound in time. I swear. There's just no. I don't see any other way for time stretching, in my opinion. Like, at least personally, I know there's tons of of ways to do it. But if if you're like struggling and your samples just aren't getting in time. Do it this way, I promise. Um, if this video has been helpful to you, press like, subscribe. I definitely want to start making a lot more tutorials, quick tips like this, just small things I can help with. Um, so please show some support if you like it. It'll definitely help me out to make more. And uh, thank you guys.